As a scientist, I specialize in cancer immunotherapy. My work, and that of my colleagues, is to figure out ways to stimulate the immune system to kill cancer. To understand this concept, let's talk a little more about our immune system and how it works. Taking a look inside our body, all of us are born with an immune system that acts like the security checkpoint at the airport. Our immune system is like a high-tech, full-body scanner system that protects us from things that are harmful. In the immune system, T cells have receptors that scan cells to distinguish between normal cells and abnormal cells, like virus-infected cells. Once detected, abnormal cells are attacked and removed by T cells. T cells also identify these cells for future recognition. The same T cells also play an important role in protecting us from cancer. Cancer cells are normal cells that have mutated. The more mutations cancer cells have, the more easily they are detected. Until recently, we didn't understand why T cells were detecting these cancer cells, but not destroying them. But on a closer look, we've made some revealing discoveries. We've learned that one of the ways that cancer cells get past the security system is with the help of a molecule called PDL1 that is found on the surface of cancer cells. PDL1 is almost like a disguise that allows cancer cells to remain undetected. PDL1 basically hacks the T cell scanning system by jamming the signal to parts of the T cell system called PD1 and B71. Think of PD1 as a sensor that's part of the T cell scanning system, and B71 is like an alarm that issues an alert when something is wrong. When PDL1 hacks the system, it prevents it from doing what it's supposed to do. In other words, it may prevent T cells from destroying cancer cells. Scientists have been working on fixing this problem and have designed molecules to target the PDL1 PD1 pathway. You can think of cancer immunotherapy as kind of like a software update for your immune system. Early studies suggest that by targeting the PDL1 PD1 pathway, T cells may be able to detect and destroy cancer cells. Let me show you in more detail. T cells have receptors that allow them to recognize cancer. Cancer cells can prevent elimination by turning on PDL1. PDL1 deactivates T cells by binding to PD1 and B71. Blocking PDL1 from binding to PD1 and B71 could prevent PDL1 from communicating with them. When this happens, T cells may finally be able to respond and kill cancer cells. Clinical trials are currently underway to understand the effects of trying to block the PDL1 PD1 pathway in the body. We are committed to studying cancer immunotherapy so that we can continue to find new ways to harness the immune system to fight multiple types of cancer.